Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be covering the new features in Cydia 1.1.23. Earlier this morning, yet another huge Cydia update was released, bringing not only a bug fix, but two new features along with it. One of the huge new features in Cydia version 1.1.23 is that Cydia now allows for package downgrades. Now unfortunately, out of the box with Cydia version, once again 1.1.23, not all packages can be downgraded. But for example, Sark knows that when he releases a new version of Cydia, a huge one like this especially, there's bound to be one or two bugs that might hinder a user's experience. So if you head over to Cydia right now, tap on the modify button. Below the button for remove, you're going to see a new option titled downgrade. And that's only going to show up if there is a downgrade available for that particular package, and there is for Cydia as of right now. So when I tap on that, you can see it's going to pop up with 1.1.22, meaning that now you have the option to downgrade to version 1.1.22 of City Installer. Tapping that is going to reinstall that version and take off the latest version of Cydia. You can see when I go back into Cydia, it is version 1.1.22 instead of the latest version using this new downgrade feature. Now because this update to Cydia just came out around a few hours ago, of course many packages inside of Cydia like packages on Big Boss and Mod My Eye aren't going to have this downgrade feature off the bat, like I said because the update's very new. And for the simple fact is that many packages don't really need a downgrade at this point in time, but it is absolutely awesome to have that feature here if we want to take advantage of it. The second new feature added in Cydia 1.1.23 is actually going to be found on the home page. If we scroll down just a tad until we see the new button, it'll actually have a new with it if it's the first time you're viewing it, this says find extensions for applications. As Sarg mentioned in the patch notes for this version of Cydia, this is actually inspired by another tweak called Tweak Hub, but he decided to kind of Sherlock the idea of course crediting them and build it directly into Cydia. You can see that when you tap on this, it's going to show you a list of all the applications that you have installed on your device. And if there are extensions for those applications, you can see them right here. For example, if we scroll down to Cydia, there's 11 extensions for this tweak that we can download right at this very moment. Now, as Sarek mentions at the top of this page for finding these application tweaks, the lists are not going to be perfect. There might be some packages that were made for iOS 3 or 4, like I've seen a few already, and they might not even work with those applications. There's some glitches in the system still that he's trying to work out, but just seeing all these new options in Cydia in the first place is downright exciting. Cydia was so dry for two or three years where we saw some kind of cool features, but in the past two or three weeks alone, we've seen Cydia take steps and leaps that I did not think we would see for years in the future. Nonetheless, guys, that is what's new in the latest version of Cydia being version 1.1.23, other than a very small bug fix that says if you ran out of disk space and iOS cleared the cache, Cydia wouldn't run for whatever reason. That change has been also corrected in this update. For more on jailbreaking, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below, and if you enjoyed watching this video, you are more than welcome to hit that like button. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I will talk to you all in my next video.